Hello there. How are you? Look at this, huh? Look, look at us. A semi-regularly uploaded video. It just doesn't happen on this channel often. And here we are. An almost somewhat regular upload. Brilliant. Brilliant. So this is the Q&A that we promised in the last video. So that was on my birthday, which means it's been like two weeks. What day is it? It's been all, almost three weeks. Jesus. Semi-regular. Anyway, so simple Q&A. Let's get right into it. I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and do all of this in one take so that Connor has very little work to do. Speaking of Connor, we start with a... We start with a comment... A question. Jesus. Connor, don't edit that. It's okay. Leave it. We can do this. One take. We start with a question from Connor Dowling. <coughs> ben, please tell us how your friend in Wuhan is doing now, now that it's been a year since first lockdown happy birthday speaking of thank you very much to everyone for the happy birthday wishes very kind of you you know honestly we just have the best fan base we have the nicest fan base on youtube and there's not really there's no question really just everyone's so pleasant and happy strangely in the comments um <laughs> my friend is fine she's fine she has her cats she's a boyfriend now and she's doing great she's living her best life it's funny I'm trying to get through this fast. There's a lot of questions, but uh, she, I chat to her still a little bit and she and my other friend, Joel, he is also back in Wuhan and they're just living their best lives. They're just living so fully. And I joke to them saying, you know, it looks like I was kind of holding you back because <laughs> when I was there, you know, the three of us, we kind of wouldn't do much. I would, I would happily just chill and they would happily chill with me. And we would just kind of get drunk and do nothing. But now that I'm gone, they, they kind of needed to do more things and make more friends because there's hardly anyone left in Wuhan. And any foreigners, I mean. And uh, yeah, so they're just always out doing stuff now. And I'm like, it looks like I was holding you back. So I think that's funny. Uh, Fifi, Fifi. <laughs> Jeff, I-N-F-J. And Alien from Mars all asked basically the same question, which was... What happened to your old apartment in Wuhan and all your stuff there? Are you paying rent? Did you get storage space? Just the logistics. Uh, I am still paying rent. A year. Over a year of rent. In China, you pay every three months. So when I left, I had it paid until March. And then I was like, ooh, hopefully I'll get back in like June, July. It's now February. Uh, so then I paid again in July. And then again in October, no, it must have been, whatever, it's every three months. And so again, now I have paid it until March and please let me get back before March. But yes, I have, I'm literally, I had enough money to pay it until like December, December 20th. And then up until March, I was like, I can't afford this anymore. I don't have a job. I've spent all my accessible China money. So now I'm just struggling. <laughs> well, so all my stuff is still there. Joel, who I just mentioned, he goes over and just kind of stays there because my apartment's in a great position in the city. So he just stays there and it's, it's like his second apartment, except I'm paying. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I have a lot of stuff there. We'll do, it, we'll do an apartment tour when I get back. When? In March. Fingers crossed. Emma Phelan asks, happy birthday, Ben. Thank you, Emma. Can you do another cooking tutorial and what's your favorite food? There will be another cooking tutorial. I only just recorded pancakes on Pancake Tuesday. Point. So yes, um, oh God, it's already four minutes long. Let's speed this up. Um, there's, I'm on question three, so slow. Yes, a pancake tutorial cooking video is on its way. And my favorite food, have to be special K. I've eaten it, I have been eating it since I was a child and I still eat it to this day and it's just, it's my favorite, it's my favorite. I have it every single morning and I have done for like 20 years. Special K. I look great in a red dress. <laughs> I hope you get that, but if you don't get that, we have issues. Um, Violet Baudelaire said, how did the prison interview go? Are you scared to work in a prison? Didn't get it, shame. Didn't really want it. It sounded like it was going to be an incredible amount of work for very little money. You know, one of those jobs that no one wants. 
I didn't even get it though. It was annoying. You know, you want to be the person to be like, no, 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 I don't want it. But you want to at least be offered. But no. But I was just today talking to China, talking to the university, and they said they're very hopeful that I will actually start teaching online for the university in March, if I don't get back by then, which I won't. Um, so yes, looks like the job that I've had all along will be the job that helps me get a job. Funny that. Question whatever. AD asks, what are you doing for fun and exercise? And I thought I'd, I'd just, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, I have this bad boy. Look at her. Isn't she fantastic? <sighs> she got it from Amazon. It's, uh, I'm not going to tell you how, you know, I will tell you how heavy it is. It's 75 kilograms. I'm a very strong man, as you can tell from the physique. <laughs> so, you know, I have that for exercise. Fun, I have an Xbox 360. And eh, that's about it. I, make, I, I try to game. I like a good game. And for exercise, that or I go for a, a run. No, I haven't been for a run for like a week, but still. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Violet Baudelaire asks again, is it too personal to ask if you have a significant other? I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be rude about it at all. That's, that's no problem, Violet. We don't, I don't take anything... Unless, no, that wasn't a rude question. Um, I would say to that question, not yet. I would say, hopefully soon. Hmm, bit of mystery. Hmm, what's going on? Who knows? But yes, we'll find out. Hmm, we'll see in the, in the next episode. Join in. Wait, what's, what do they say? <laughs> Tune in next time to find out. <laughs> no, but I, uh, I would say not yet. That's how I, I would answer that. But hopefully soon. Gemma Asterix asks, favorite place you've ever traveled to? Without a doubt, no question, Krakow in Poland. Oh my, don't know why I said Poland, like I'm struggling to speak English. Poland. Krakow in Poland is Poland. Krakow in Poland is fantastic. Honestly, I loved it. Loved every minute of it. Went in the summer 2019. It was amazing. The people are amazing. The city is amazing. It was just a great time. Great time. Would recommend. Uh, K-pop mashup asks, How's, how are your friends doing in Wuhan? I answered that K-pop. You want to rewind? Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, except the places that you've already lived, where would it be? Uh, I was hoping eventually to move to New Zealand. That one in the corner there. Not Australia. That one. Ah. That is I, just my map of places I've been to. I don't know if you can see it, but there's dots on them. Yes. 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 I think that's okay. Eight minutes in. It's going to be a long video. You know, if you watch it, fair play. I wouldn't. Uh, so I, I was hoping to move to New Zealand. So hopefully I would say I would like to live in New Zealand in the future. Um, Jokosis. Jokosis asks how's life where you are i'm currently in a country <laughs> being i'm being vague on purpose i'm hearing both the uk and the republic of ireland are experiencing spikes in covid19 although y'all got nothing on us americans that's how i spelled it america first they to be fair you know that's they are leading the way in covid numbers Hopefully now that we've got a new administration, we'll all be able to avoid a fate like the Titanic. Stay safe. Thank you, Jokosis. Uh, yeah, where I am, just locked down. Numbers are getting better because after Christmas everywhere just went mad. But getting better and hopefully we'll be able to live half a life very soon. Uh, Heather Cruza asks, is there anything that has helped you through this year? I saw this earlier and I was like, I couldn't think of anything immediately. But I guess it's just like the little things like chatting to friends, which sounds stupid, but I guess it isn't. It's weird, just the little things throughout the year. I would say the little things. So I think it's just stuff that you can control now. You've Everyone's improved that. Like everyone can probably cook a meal that they couldn't before 
do something they didn't before. And even if you didn't, if you haven't learned any new skills, fair enough. Doesn't matter. Just, I would say the little things helped me through this year. What do you miss most of all about, what do you, Sandy Villarreal, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Your name is like a football team. And I've only seen that as a football team. So I'm going to pronounce it the way I know it. Sandy Villarreal. What do you miss most of all from Wuhan? Is it activities, persons or things? I think it's just that when I moved to Wuhan, that was like I was 23, 22. I was an age, a numerical age, an integer. And it was just like your proper taste of freedom. You're away from everything you've ever known even your friends, even things you don't want to be away from. And it was just nice to have my own apartment then and my own job and my own money. And it was just, so it's hard to pick one thing. I would say probably the freedom I miss, but I think everyone misses that because of COVID and my apartment. Just miss my, my own apartment, my own space where I could be alone. Julia Meir, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. What is, was your level in Chinese? How have you communicated in China? I have a very poor level of Chinese. I can just basically say the food that I like and that's about it. I can't, it's very hard to speak, very difficult. Uh, so I struggle, that's how I communicate in China with just my hands and my face and my phone. <laughs> Vaziliki D. When will you be able to get vaccinated for COVID? I have no idea. It's not up to me. It's up to the government of whatever country I'm in at the time. No idea. But probably like either next year or the end of this year or who knows. Uh, Quickie Gaming, where is your most wanting destination to travel to? New Zealand. Well, that's probably where I'd live next. Where would I want to travel most to? Probably Peru to see the Nazca Lions. I always wanted to see those. The Fortunes asks, have you, have you ever tried to get through so you come back to Wuhan? Yes. <laughs> I assume you mean, have I tried to get back? Uh, yes, I just need a visa. And then as soon as I get that visa, I'll be back. But China are currently not giving them out to anyone new. So I'll um, get back as soon as I can. Mary McFadden asks, very familiar name. Have you ever been to the United States and where in the US would you most like to visit? I have been to the United States. I have been to New York, Chicago, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Arizona. I said Chicago. Oh, I, are you part of this video? Philadelphia and Ohio. And I'm sorry if you live in Ohio. I'm that, that's it. I'm just sorry if you live in Ohio. <laughs> it was awful. There's nothing there. Food was great though. Colleen H asks, my question is, what is your favorite place in Ireland? This one I had to think about before I started re to record because I, I was like, Jesus, where is it? Uh, but I came up with them. Wexford is in the southeast and it's called the sunny southeast. That's what we call it when it's sunny. Uh, because it's like the nice, during the summer, it's probably the nicest place to be in Ireland. Nice beaches. And just if you're on a beach in Ireland, it's probably a very nice day. And it's just, yeah, Wexford, Wexford, Wexford Beach. Uh, Stardust Light. What is one thing you really miss about Ireland when you are in China? And what is one thing you really miss about China when you were in Ireland? Great question. When I'm in China, I probably miss my friends the most. My friends in Ireland. Probably. Just, yeah, just that. Just seeing people that you will have seen all the time. And then you go to like zero contact, you know, face-to-face -face contact. And when I'm in China, probably, wait, 
That's what I just said. When I'm in Ireland, <laughs> when I'm in Ireland, yeah, I've said already, my apartment, my freedom, my independence, whatever. Mm, last question, is it? Tis. Melissa T. <laughs> oh yeah, this is why I put this as the last question. Melissa T. Do you have a mailing address that a box of goodies can be sent to? <laughs> I do, Melissa T. But I've seen enough things online to know to not give out my address on the YouTube. So thanks for asking. I'm sure you just wanted to send me either a lovely birthday gift or a bomb or some COVID in a box. But uh, no, thank you. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, next video should be pancakes, if that's not already been uploaded. Or that time I broke my jaw, which I said in the last video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And if I didn't answer your question, I apologize. I think I got them all. Um, but if I didn't, just type type the old question in the old comments. And I will we'll answer it in the comments of this video. I said that such a long way. Anyway, thanks and see you later.